Who let the goats out is what a man in Lyford has been wondering. The Lyford man says he received a citation after his goats were spotted in a neighbor's backyard. A neighbor that allegedly stole the goats before. He used to have 18 goats. 16 of them were stolen. Dagoberto Balboa says he was able to get them back, but now they're costing him a pretty penny. After all, 18 of his goats escaped the pen they were locked up in. They're never out of this place no more. That, that door just came open at one time and they went on that side. The city of Lyford slapped him with a fine that ranges from $200 to $1,000. It's money Balboa doesn't have. What about right here? This is where I'm talking about. This should be the, the city's boundary. From here on, it's supposed to be the county. Balboa claims the city has no right to cite him because the goats were on county property. They went out through here from this wire down to that fence right there. According to the Lyford City Police Chief Campbell, the goats were found on the neighbor's property and the city does have the right to give him a ticket. As for Balboa, he says the goats were only out for a few minutes. He quickly gathered them into the pen. He thinks the $1,000 citation is overboard. That's not my opinion on the amount of the fines. We just we don't set the rules of the fines. We just enforce the law. But I want to make something clear that he did have the opportunity to contest this in a court of law. Balboa says he's asked for the chief's assistant before, and the chief told him it's not his jurisdiction. And now Balboa says he's willing to go to jail and does not feel he should pay for a citation that is issued by the city if it falls within county limits. We asked the chief if they were allowed to give citations if they exceed the city limits, and he says that if they are not sure where the property falls, they are allowed to exceed by a couple of feet to stabilize the situation. Later, they would deal with the issue of who it belongs to. Reporting from the studio, Veronica Gallegos, Action 4 News.